Hey buddy, it's 54 New Star here with another tutorial this time dealing with the Copper Cube engine. Uh, just an update, the health system for the Construct 2 engine is underway. I am modifying it to work with enemies, allies, and player so that enemy AI can use it so that enemy or uh, friendly AI can use it and players can use it. It's kind of com really kind of complicated I'm trying to make sure it works uh, we'll have the player um, system working I'm trying to use it to where it, it jumps in like tens so it reads that you know you're at 80 percent which jump you up to 90 then jump you up to 100 once you're at 100 you're good to go um, another thing is I'm reading uh, I'm having it read say you hit 83 it's saying okay 83 we're gonna jump you up to uh, up by 10 that's 93 and if you are below then uh, you know 2 or 1 it's just gonna constantly add 2 or 1 until it makes it a hundred so it's kind of a complex system I'm trying to make it uh, very efficient but until then and to hold you off or you know keep your thirst at bay or whatever uh, is a dark Nova. This is my uh, 2D, uh, not my 2D, but this is one of the uh, games I'm making for Congregate, the 3D version. <clears throat> I'm still rendering all the 2D sprites, so that's going to be a little bit. But this is a engine which can export out to um, Flash, Windows, test as a WebGL, Mac OS, uh, and Android. And it's a really, really, really good game engine. Um, I really like it. For one, that allows you to export. It, it's basically a very easy version of Unity. Um, it doesn't have as many uh, like shaders, but the guy is working on it. But it has a very, very easy way of adding stuff and adding in some basic enemy AI and all that stuff. But today we're going to be working on a menu. Now, how do we make a menu? Uh, well, that's actually pretty simple. We go, so you pop it up like this. And actually, um, I'll be right back with another window. So one second. Actually, grab a cube and run. So there we go. Uh, there's another one. We got our box. So. Yours is going to look like this. So how do we make uh, a menu? So yeah, you saw me pop up right there. So you go to scene editing, there's all these buttons. And here we go with, that's a 2D touchscreen input item. That is basically um, a thumb print. He hasn't perfected it perfectly. It does work. You just have to do a lot of stuff on your end to make it work great. Um, and then this is the 2D overlay item. This is your button. So you would put it there, and then we have attributes or properties. So it's named 2D Overlay. I'm going to do it as a button 1 slash play. And it will uh, rename it right here. And we have our cube and all that stuff. So we're going to, it's visible, not visible. That's very good to know in case um, on th this one. On the next scene, you go to, uh, you, you click one of the 2D, these 2D buttons, and it will change the scene, and it, it will make stuff visible and non-visible. So that's very good to know. Um, okay, uh, you can have it color, you can change the size of it. To change the size of it, size of it we have a scaling option right here so you can make it big or small or whatever uh, draw a background the color do you want it to have a solid color it can draw text and if you draw text uh, what type of text do you want or you know like you, you, you'll type something I'm gonna type play and then oh you can also have an image so you just click that you can add an image so I'll for example use that one boom we got a weird button um, you can center the text top left 
or multi-line. Multi-line is actually pretty awesome. Text color, I'm gonna make this black. Actually, let's make it white. So we can see it. I normally go for bright colors. I really like, ooh, sky blue is awesome. Um, this font's very, very huge. Like the, it takes up a, like a lot of memory. Please don't crash on me. Okay, yeah, I think I might do sky blue. There we go. That's nice. Um, there's the font on hover animate. So what do you want it to do when it animates? Um, do you want to set text to a different color? Like, oh, let's go over there. And let's go over there. So there we go. So there we go. We've got some already in game workings. It's turning white. Um, on hover set background color to black, but I haven't messed with that part yet. On hover show image, um, so it would be, I haven't worked on that one either and you don't really need those. Um, basically it's, this is a menu button, you click on it, it does something. How do you make it do something? Well, you go to behavior and we're going to actually tell it to rotate this cube. So we add um, triggers when click on this do something. Set action. And then we're going to rotate of a scene node. Uh, absolute. What do we want to rotate? Cube mesh one. Um, let's see, rotation animated, yes, and then we'll this, 10. And then, hold on one second. Okay, I just had to make sure some other stuff first. Okay, so we have it, um, we are going to need a camera. So let's go add ourselves, create a camera, simple camera that does not move. And let's add, move this camera so we can view everything. Now, to tell it where to look, we have this micro box, and this tells us to look in this general view. So let's zoom out a bit, and then we'll hit publish as Windows executable. And it's loading. It's just loading because I have like a ton of boxes down below. Okay play and clicked on oh we told the box okay um when we need to tell this thing when clicked on this do something okay so if we clicked on that that would have rotated but we need to click that we clicked on that do something change position uh change rotation uh, select cube vector 20 rotation animated come on you, you're good with huge gigantic scenes but you, you can't load up a box okay there we go. But you gotta keep clicking it. I think that was a one time thing. I haven't really messed with the whole rotating scene. Um, probably should have done like a, a door opening. So we hit play. And then, yeah, that's a one time event.
what you can do is set it by triggered um, Oh, my cursor has moved over something. So what we can also do is cursor moved over something. Set cursor. Uh, change texture. We want to change the texture to regular box which C node select cube box okay <laughs> not again um, Oh, on enter mouse. Oh, because it's already in that texture. Idiot right here. Okay, um, so we need to change it. So it was working all along. Hit the play button. Okay, now it works. Loading, loading, a lot of loading. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, now I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, now we want an exit button. So we're gonna copy and paste that move it and move that down so we want to change the text to exit okay so we got an exit and that's this button one i'm gonna leave it like that but what do we do so we're going to go to uh remove that so when we're actually like clicking on it when clicked on this do something action quit application okay We're going to get the change texture, but we're also going to get the exit, the application. So that's a basic menu. Hopefully you guys understood. Sorry if it's a bit long. Um, worked a lot on a video game, and you'll be seeing it on Congregate pretty soon. Um, until then, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. There'll be another tutorial up pretty soon. Uh, maybe dealing with Construct 2 and more of this Copper Cube engine. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.